Um, what conflict do you deal with the most at school? Okay, and there are um, three choices, or yeah, there's actually two, and then you have an option for the other. Academics or peer pressure or something else. Academics or peer pressure or something else. Academics. Academics? Why do you feel that pressure? Well, can you repeat the question? Yeah. So <laughs> what conflicts do you deal with most at school? Is it peer pressure or academics? Oh, academics because I feel like I focus way too much on sports during the school year and I don't like really focus on my grades, which kind of, as Abdul said, well, if I don't focus, I'll, it'll kind of hurt me right. in the long run. So real quick to that one, what he said is for every one of you, you know, is remember athletics are a privilege. They're not a right. They don't go as part of school. Like you don't graduate if you don't play a sport. So what Brian just said there is absolutely true. That's secondary. Your academics should always come first. All right, who's next? For me, this kind of goes like hand in hand. Because I know, especially being a junior now, you're starting to think about colleges and stuff. And a lot of my friends, like, we made our schedules back in the spring. And it was a lot of pressure to, like, do I want to take classes that my friends are taking? Or do I want to take, like, what's right for me? And that ended up, a lot of my friends ended up getting split into different classes because we all went different ways. And then so now we're just kind of like, do we still focus on academics or do we try and rebuild those friendships again, even though we're not together all the time? Wow. You just dropped some knowledge on me. That's awesome. I'm, I'm serious. I, that's that's deep. That's deep. That's uh, what that uh, for me, it's probably academics because like when you've always been like a smart student and always gotten good grades, you're expected to keep that up for at least through high school. And it's just like when you're in tougher classes and stuff like that, it is a, a lot more difficult. Yeah. Probably academics because like when we went online, like none of the parents really knew like what we were going through and like especially for me like I've kind of realized school isn't like school I don't do bad in school it's just not for me like personally and then when we went online all my parents were like pressuring me to get good grades and I keep telling them, well you don't know what I'm going through so why should I keep going if, like you like if you guys say you can do better than me but you guys don't know how it feels yeah yeah things are a lot different now aren't they and yeah that's for sure